I think traditional is pretty hard to define because Hawaiian music is constantly growing and it's never stagnant. I feel that our form of traditional Hawaiian music is going back to the music of our kupuna from who we find inspiration. People like Mahi Beamer, Vicky E.E. Rodrigues, that classic time, I guess. There's richness in, in this particular time. There's, there's variety and there's interest in the kinds of music. Charles E. King, Helen Deshea Beamer, when you think of those songs, they're not your typical hula songs, you know. It's um, the olelo. It's the olelo, but yeah. it's also the, the, the variance in, in the melody, in the harmonic structures, and I think it just catches our ear.
that I compose talks about the Aupua of Kapalama, which we all have a special relationship to because um, that's where the Kamehameha Schools is located. It wasn't until I got into the Kantakli Club at Kamehameha Schools that I really grew a passion for Hawaiian music. Jonah and I are classmates, so there's a bunch of us who really enjoy playing Hawaiian music. We had each other, but we had uh, such great mentors, teachers, and so many great programs. Kantakli, uh, Nick and I were in band, so much fertile ground was there to, to plant these seeds of inspiration and seeds of music. To be touched by the legacy of Powahi has been an amazing blessing. I definitely have a lot of love for, for this place of Kapalama.
I think meta can be used as a metaphor for many things. In one perspective, as a photograph. There was one day, me and my wahine, we went down to uh, Mauna Lua, Hawaii Kai. Beautiful, beautiful day though. Sun was shining, not a cloud in the sky. It was low tide, it was just so pretty. No ripples in the water. And I remember I looked at her and I told her, gosh, I want to remember this day forever and we should write a song. I'm looking at all these things around us and I said, you know what, this is going to be the first verse. This is going to be the second verse, that's going to be the third verse, fourth verse, Haina. I went home and I wrote the song and it's to commemorate that day. Just a good fun cruise, hola hola day. Aloha. For all my life, I thought I lived in Kaneohe. And I looked on a map and I realized I lived in Heia. That specific area, that's Haiku Valley. Heia itself as an Aupua is such a um, 21st century functioning Aupua, what, what we as Hawaiians should be proud of today. Whether it be at the fish pond or all the way up to Waipau and Papahana Kuola. So many great things that are happening. But, but for that song in particular, it's about the home that Nick and I grew up in. And it, honors not only the place, but our home, our family.
we're so lucky to have a treasure like Robert Casimero being able to guide us and showing us right from wrong. When you speak to Robert, the amazing thing is he has these stories that, oh, you know, Mary Kavena Pukui said this, or Maikumu Maiki Ayu Lake said this. And it's insane. Iola Ni Luahine said this to me. And it's like, you're right there. This succession of knowledge and this succession of, of guidance represents this, this massive mo'okuoho, this massive um, genealogy of, of what Hawaiian music is. I feel like that's another reason why he's such a treasure to all of us. I think what I value the most is what we're contributing to for the next generation. We're all students of the Hawaiian language, so we're able to look at a lot of the mele and really see the poetry, the visual poetry that are in the songs. For us to read the words of our kupuna, to really understand them, it grounds our, ourselves in our culture and our language. I hope to bring inspiration to people to learn our language and to appreciate this beautiful poetry that our kupuna wrote. 
To bring this style of Hawaiian music to the forefront, it will be perpetuated for the next generations and the next generation, which is one of the most beautiful things you can do, I think. This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.